Hello and welcome to Everyday Eternal, where we try to find eternal truths in everyday situations. Now I want to talk to a lot of you out there that are having to make some difficult decisions. Uh, due to so many different circumstances, uh, be it the financial crisis, uh, be it reorganization or restructuring of many companies due to this fact, uh, uh, many of you are being forced to make some radical different decisions. I know of so many people who are having to seek employment, opportunities, a new life uh, in a new place uh, due to all of the difficulties uh, that we're facing here locally. And I'm speaking about our reality here in Puerto Rico, be it in search of a quality, better quality of life, uh, safety, security, or just a job, many people all over the world are having to reinvent themselves. People who have had a career for, for 15, for 20, uh, for 29, 30 years are having to start all over again. And uh, just as I spoke in a couple of ep episodes ago about change, starting over can be a really scary process. I mean, uh, will I be able to do this? Is, is, is this something that I still know how to do? Uh, do I still have it? Let me let you know that if you are a child of God, uh, you are not alone. And he who is with you is greater than he that is in the world and any obstacle that you could ever confront. So let me tell you this. If you're having to start over, if you're having to make a difficult decision or choice, if you're even having to move away and, uh, and just pioneer in, in areas of your life, uh, I want to let you know something. Sometimes insecurity, fear, uh, the enemy himself will put words into our, our mind and to our heart and to our spirits uh, that will try to fool us into believing that we can't do this. Uh, not only that, but even if what we're used to isn't the best that we can have, we still grow comfortable and we don't uh, find it easy to move away from it. So I just want to challenge you, if you're going through a time where you're going to have to be making some tough decisions, making some radical choices, uh, I want to encourage you to not be afraid. With God, you can do this. With God, nothing is impossible. With God, we are more than overcomers. With God, we can face change because the unchangeable one is with us. He is unchangeable. So as long as we have that one steady thing in our life that we can count on, what else do we really need? I wanna give you a really short Bible verse that you can memorize right now. And it is Psalm 56, three. Psalm 56, three, and this is what it says. And I hope it's an encouragement to you. And it's so short and so simple, but so powerful. Psalm 56, three says, when I am afraid, I will trust in you. Will you trust in him in this new phase, new decision, new situation? You know, sometimes what men intend to be for harm God turns into a big blessing. You should study the story of Joseph and see how what men intended for harm, God turned into blessing. It may be happening to you, whether you like it or not. So remember Psalm 56, three, when I am afraid, I will trust in you. Have an awesome day and remember to seek in your everyday situations, the eternal.